Charles Wall started. He, he's with the Eagles already. He came in two or three weeks ago. He's the former Cle Browns national scout. Who's now they, he's one of their directors of player personnel. This is interesting because this is a big jump for him. Yeah. To go from a national scout to one of the directors. Now, you would think he would take the role of Ian Cunningham because yeah. that he comes from the college side. Uh, we know Matt Russell is going to be a senior advisor who uh, Howie Roseman has known for years. Uh, he was on her, as you know, uh, the late Tom Heckert. Yes, so with the Eagles, Tom right. And then and then Broncos, right. Right, so they knew each other and obviously mm -hmm. Howie's known him for years. Uh, so he's back after, I don't know, got to be, it's well over a decade that he, you know, he was away. So this is like this is one of the few hires that maybe has the apples to apples. For like he's going to take Tom Donahoe's job most likely. He's going to be a senior advisor, right? More or less, right? Okay. Right. But you just don't know the exact again the exact title, <laughs> right? You know, it's we, we know. But as you said, we know what he's going to provide because mm -hmm. uh, he's been scouting for several decades. So Jeremy Gray uh, is coming in from University of Arizona. He was their college scouting director, that, that, which is just oversee recruiting. Yep, but the one thing I, I check with, I know someone who worked with him with the Vikings who told me about him. Mm. His dad obviously is Jerry Gray, the former longtime NFL defensive backs coach. He's been, his dad, uh, Jerry, is, was a D coordinator, D backs coach in the league for decades. So Jeremy had, was under, he, he had limited work in pro personnel with the Vikings, but uh, what we're told is there was another team involved trying to hire him, but the Eagles got him and they gave him a little bit of a elevated role to assistant director for scouting. So that's a nice jump for him. Um, and then, oh, Rod Streeter. Yeah, Rod Streeter was brought in weeks ago. Uh, he was with the Browns. Again, another former Brown. Uh, he was a scouting assistant with the Browns. He will be a college area scout. You might remember him, folks, from Temple University. He's an undirected free agent with the Raiders. What a great story. Pretty good dude. I know people work with him. And uh, he's he, he's actually been in scouting. This will be his third or fourth year in scouting. Yeah, wow, Rod Streeter. I think he may have spent a week or two on my fantasy team one year when I was not doing well, and I thought he, had, you know, because he would oh. he would have like a long catch because he had speed, right? Every once in a while, and then you thought, oh, maybe this is the week he catches like three for seventy five and and a TD. Good but size. yeah, Rod Streeter. Right. Yeah, right. size, right, right, right. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Right. So then, all right. So that, that's the ones that we know are done. There's some others, but there are some others. Yeah. Yeah. Look, the the, the bottom line is that, that they're going to have. Between promotions, people leaving on their own accord or got let go, they're going to have anywhere from 16 to 20 or more changes. This is just, as you said, it. when you win like this, it's you don't think this will happen, but there could be a new beginning. Who knows? Well, it's fascinating. And I'm, again, I don't care about the titles. I care about what these people do. But the big one, the loss of Andy Weidel, because he sets that, that draft board. And they these last two drafts are pretty good. I know, you know, Howie obviously was the one who's making the picks. Right. And not having Tom Donahue is a voice of reason we were heard. That that's what what Tom did is the voice of reason because he's been there and done it. And he's yeah. done it for over forty years.